Hey, this is Drake here. I was going to make another quick weapon video on LISFP. I come across this weapon combination, and of course, I've seen it on some other guides online, so I can't really take credit for it. But I ain't seen anybody show this part. This weapon combo does a ludicrous amount of break damage for some reason, and the charged attack is very good. So here's the weapon. It is the bone cutting saw blade head and the bramble curved sword handle. Now the fable art, the link chop with the head part, the bone cutter saw blade sucks. I don't like it at all. And I'll show it right here. It does a lot of damage if you can connect. The first one's not too bad, but the second one just doesn't. I mean, it does a lot of damage as you see, but so slow very seldom that you'll ever even use that but this is what i like about it this is the charge attack and it covers a lot of distance and on the dummy it will completely not just stagger it but completely break it if you connect every single time i mean that's how much stagger damage you don't even have to do a follow-up charge attack it will just completely obliterate it and depending on how it hits you do around well i'm not specced all the way into decks like it should be and that's basically the only drawback on this handle it, sorry well it ain't decks but we'll look at I it here that's basically the only drawback to the handle part as you can see it only scales a b to technique and a d to motivity and that's after you use a technique crank to it so you don't get that a technique scaling out of it or even s technique scaling so if you're not mainly in a technique like i am you lose a bit of damage but not as much i mean this thing probably scales the hardest this blade scales the hardest uh, hits the hardest of any weapon i've found on here so far and what i i really like to handle miss carts but it's a multi-hit combo it's not very likely not very often you ever get it off but if you do it does quite a bit of damage you see you just hold tri guard and triangle and it just put it a six or seven hit combo for a ridiculous amount of break and stagger damage on them if we can count here One, two three four five six seven and it's very fast i mean to be swinging a weapon that large maybe and i don't think you can have you have to hold it you can just tap it and it just does three and it only uses one slot so that real quick or you can tap it twice and use two slots so it, you can choose which one you do but i really love that fable art on the handle but we said the fable art on the blade is not too great but the ability to deliver this much stagger damage in one hit really changes and you see how much distance it covers you can really cover some distance do good damage and do a lot of break now there is a other combination that's really good honestly could be better i think it scales better to technique same head or you could we'll use another head here in a second but it's the dancer's curved sword handle which you've probably heard about and if you use a technique handle on it it'll scale to an a in technique so this would be hitting for more damage than this current setup that i'm running but honestly i just don't like the move set all that much it's fine but you it'd be good for crowd control you do big sweeping motions and you still do really good damage and the charge attack does cover a lot of distance just like the other one but i found that if you do not connect with both hits of the charge it doesn't break like the other one does so you're losing you know and that's part of it i like to stand back wait for an opening charge my attack and then come in and you're losing that damage and that stagger effect and with this combo the handle only has a parry mechanic which is good if you're you know into that type of gameplay but when you put them together your fable arts really suck because you don't have any good offensive fable art 
on either weapon or, or either weapon or the handle uh, the other combination that I've just looked at and I kind of like it it's really good you just lose the break but you gain probably the best combination of fable arts that I've come across so far and I run this one for a long time you want to boost your glaive head and the bramble handle of course your scaling's a little off because like I said it only does a, a B in technique well apparently I, I need to equip it there it is now I like this combo too it does really good I mean Pretty quick weapon for a great sword combo. But what I really like about this combo is the fable art on the blade is awesome. Or pretty good. It's one of the better ones. It comes out pretty quick. And then you've got the good fable art on the handle too. So you've got two separate really good fable arts. And you still got a pretty good distance covering charge attack. It just lacks the break of the other build. But yeah, that's also a very viable combination. Like I said, I do like the fact that both your fable arts are highly usable. But that was it. Let me put it back together and I'll put together the one I'm using and go run it on a couple of enemies right quick. Hopefully I won't make a mess of it being this. I'm recording it. There it was that one, and I do love the bramble. I wish it would scale better to technique. I really do. But I guess you win some, you lose some. And I've heard there's better handles a little later on. All right, and I'll show it. You know, you see mine, it's scaling at 258 plus 103 physical attack, and it's at a plus seven. Rest a moment. And check my status character info so you can see I'm not as far in the technique as it should be but I found that you need to pump at least 25 in the capacity to be able to carry this particular weapon weapon and the heaviest of well the, the best of the defense stuff that I found so far defense parts without having to wear the ring for extra capacity which is in my opinion is worth it I mean you have to dump a little bit extra in capacity, but it's well worth it not have to give up a talisman or whatever it is slot just for extra capacity. But if you don't want to pump that much into capacity, you can equip the one for weight up and you can go a little bit more into technique. Let's see, show equipment. Here you see I've got this one that does flicks more damage on carcasses. I've got the plus four technique one and increases stamina or curve speed. I'm not running anything currently to up my weight capacity and I'm still at 58%, 1% under where I'm at. And I've got some of this one right here is the new best, just straight up defense is 28% physical damage reduction. And all of my stuff is pretty heavy. I think it's getting, there might be some better, but I think it's getting pretty close to end game. Of course, I'm not quite there yet. I'm at the, toward the middle of chapter seven. And so yeah, that's where we want to go. And this is the, I watched this on another video. It's the farming spot, the two big enemies that you farm pretty quickly 
they were using a different kind of cheese strat with the pull the string arm which i do want to get to i gotta do a little respecking to get to it but this weapon combo hits so hard if i can remember which way to go yeah, it was the other way this weapon combo hits so hard that it will stagger these bigger enemies out of their attacks. Now we're in the... Okay, yeah, there it is. It's this shortcut you open right here. Past this merchant here. And I do like to apply fire for these dudes just because it's this little extra. And maybe I won't make a mess of it. Missed him. Yeah, that's what I figured. As you can see, it's so hard that most of the time it staggers them out of their attack animation unless it's a unblockable one. That wasn't a great run or perfect run by no means, but this thing hits hard. And if you fought those, in, I mean, those aren't difficult enemies, but it makes quick work of this farming run right here. And I haven't fought them in a while, so I took a couple hits. But even so, you can see it was no difficulty. I was never in any danger, and all I did was just spam the one attack. But that's it, I just come across this weapon combo and figured I would share it because then it kind of, and in the boss fights it can get a little aggravating, especially fighting somebody really quick and I haven't got to the end game hard bosses yet to see how it would do. But on everything so far, it's just been melting them. But anyway, that's it, hope you liked the video. As always, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Have any questions, leave a comment. Thanks for watching.